Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am very excited because today I have a special announcement and I'm doing a Q&A. So what should I do first? Special announcement or Q&A? Um, I'll do the special announcement. Yay! So I am going to be uploading new videos every Monday. I'm so excited because I feel like this is good for me. I just need to say I'm doing them every Monday and then I will get them done. So I've been like kind of scared to give myself a weekly date just because I have a lot of things going on and I just don't know if I would have been able to meet it and I don't want to say it if I'm not going to do it. And also I just am not that efficient with my YouTube videos. I feel like I'm really picky and I like literally I will make a YouTube, I'll vlog it, I'll make the video and then I'll look at the video and be like, this isn't good enough. I'm like, I will post it. I just have really high standards for myself. I'm like a perfectionist about it. So I think this is good for me to just get videos out every Monday. I know you guys aren't critiquing the videos as much as I'm critiquing them. Like we're our own worst critics. So I'm really excited about it and I have all these fun ideas and if you follow my Instagram account you would already know that I'm doing videos every Monday because I posted about it there and also I asked you for video recommendations so if you don't follow my Instagram you should follow it because you could be a part of those things in the future but also I love you guys here on YouTube so if there are videos that you want me to post about or things you're interested in or any sort of video Is that annoying that you can see cars behind me? It's kind of annoying. Oh, uh, but I rearranged my whole room to have this, this visual. See, perfectionist. I would have probably stopped filming today and just said, nope, I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna power through. This is gonna annoy me though, but whatever. Anyways, if you have video ideas, comment them down below. I'm going to be responding to all comments, well, as many as I can. Tonight, tonight, Monday night, the 13th of January, I will be responding to comments as I watch The Bachelor. So, I'm going to go through the list of questions that I got. I picked out some that I thought would be good for this video. If I didn't pick yours, I love you. Okay, so, let's get started. The first question is, what is your most listened to songs? ATM. Like, at the moment. Uh, so I have this playlist on Spotify called Victoria Energy, and I sort of just add songs to it that I think are awesome and that make me happy. And so whenever, I'm, whenever I am not in a good mood or I'm getting ready for going somewhere or I just need to like start getting that good vibe energy, I listen to Victoria Energy. I just added some songs. So I love Beautiful People by Khalid and Ed Sheeran. I just think that's like a deep bop, but also really good. A deep bop? Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa. It's literally so good. When I hear that song, it is time to dance. And also I would say the entire Lover album because I'm a T-Swift stan. Next question. Uh, what does your room look like? Oh, hey, welcome to my crib. This is my bed. That's a Steph Curry jersey. For the record, I'll have you know, I was a Steph Curry fan before he was actually famous. Like literally I'm talking rookie Steph. So I'm not a bandwagon fan. I sleep with a sleep mask every night. Fun fact, I can't sleep without it. And a lot of people make fun of me for it. It's okay. Um, this is just a fuzzy blanket. Over here I have this dresser. So I just have pictures of friends and fam. And you're probably like, why do you have a shirtless picture of Max framed? Well, it's a funny story. It's my sweet Yaya, like literally thinks Max is so cute, it's so funny. And so one day she saw him post that picture on Instagram. So she printed out the picture, saved it, went to Walgreens, printed out the picture, bought a frame, put it in the frame, brought it back to me as a gift. Sweet. My mom hung up these volleyball pictures for me a while ago. I feel kind of weird having them in here because it's like pictures of me. I don't know, so, but I just still have them up. Max made this for me for Valentine's Day. How cute is he? It's all of our uh, pictures from like our first year of dating. That is my whiteboard of things I'm doing for work. And I don't really want you guys to read it because some things are surprises and some things are goals, but just know it's all there. <gasps> This is my jersey that I wore at USC. Special, actually, this jersey was my freshman, sophomore year jersey. Um, and then up there I have some awards I won at USC. This is my bulletin board, just some fun pictures. 
and this thank you card that I got from a school I spoke at which was so sweet and then more pictures a trash can and then in here I just have like tech stuff this I have to clean out like I don't even know what's in here Rachel got me this isn't it so cute thanks Rachie this is where I do things during the day. Sorry, it's really messy right now. Those are the cars I stare at that also ruin my shot, but it's okay. And this is Teddy, otherwise known as Toons, Ted, Toons Root, and Toonsy. Okay, moving on to number three. I feel like I've wasted a lot of time. Am I playing pro volleyball? No, I'm not playing pro. I did play pro for a hot sec. I went to China and I went to Vietnam. Um, the reason why I'm not playing pro is because I just don't want to leave the country and it's really sad that if you are a female volleyball player and you want to play pro, you have to leave the country. I don't want to leave. Number one tip for liberos. I would say uh, keep the ball off the floor. How do you keep up long distance friendships? This one's hard, this one's sad, this one hits me deep, but also makes me happy. I have a few best friends that I'm not always around. Honestly, the answer here is you can tell who wants to stay friends with you um, and who really cares about you. You should extend the effort and put in as much as you hope they do. Call them, FaceTime them, text them, ask them how they are. And after a while, like if they're not answering your calls, if they're not saying like, oh, I'm so sorry, but can we do this time? I think you just get the message and it hurts. It definitely hurts. In a good way, it's showing you like where you should spend your time as you start to get older and have a lot more things to do. What made me start public speaking? So I really didn't like plan or think this through. I just really wanted to share my experiences with mental health and body image because I literally could not find someone that made me feel okay about it. When I was a freshman and a sophomore, there just weren't as many people talking about mental health as there are now. Thankfully, like the conversation has changed immensely. I mean, it's huge. It's so apparent, which is amazing. But my sophomore year, I remember Googling athletes who are depressed and finding nothing. I found like one player, one football player from Michigan who I actually want to find on Instagram and message him and tell him how special it was that he had that video up there. And I guess I was just thinking like, there has to be more, more out here, more stories. So when I had the opportunity to give a TED talk, I tried out, I went through that whole process. By the way, would you guys be interested in knowing about that process? Cause I could make a video about it. Anyways, from there, I just had opportunities to continue speaking and I thought, you know, why not continue sharing my story? So that's kind of how it started. And I'm so excited for the spring because I'm gonna be visiting all of these schools and I can't wait to hopefully meet some of you if you go there. And yeah, I'm just overall, <laughs> really grateful that I get to meet people and talk to them about their stories and also just continue to share what I went through. If I hadn't played for USC, where would I have played? Oh my gosh, this is a great question because I literally cannot imagine myself at any other school. I just loved USC so much and I loved their volleyball program. I was just obsessed with it. So I don't know, but I will say I was obsessed with the Pac-12. So I think if I didn't play at USC, I would have done tried to do another Pac-12 school just because that conference to me, just being born and raised not born, I was born in Chicago, but raised in California, made me just infatuated with Pac-12. What are some healthy eating tips? Notice when you are hungry, eat what you want, stop when you are full, love yourself. Next question, how long have you been dating Max? Uh, we've been dating for over three years, and I would say things are going great, babe. Pretty good. Raw cookie dough, yes or no? I would say yes. At first I was opposed, and then I actually tried it, and I liked it. The next question says, how are you? Wow, that really hits deep. Um, I'm feeling hopeful, I'm feeling excited, and I'm feeling a little stressed. Those are usually my three main emotions. <laughs> what do I do when I'm in a bad mindset? Oh, this is a great question, and I feel like recently I've kind of been frustrated easily, and it frustrates me when I'm frustrated. I just try to acknowledge my mood, and then when I get out of the bad mood, I try to sit down and say, okay, why was I really frustrated yesterday? Or why did I get so angry? Or why was I unhappy? Like what literally happened that made me upset so that going forward, I can acknowledge how I will handle that next time or how that cannot happen. So it's okay and it's normal to be in bad moods, but just try to learn from everything that happens to you, especially times like that. How do you practice bumping at home? Um, I would just say you grab the old V-ball, uh, make sure you grip like this. Grip like this if you wanna be friends, okay? And then you bump. So let me just try with them. Ooh, whoa. Ooh, still got it. How's tunes? That one's from my mom. She's good. How old was I when I started playing volleyball? I was in sixth grade. This is a picture of me and my first team ever. 
What's my favorite song? Oh, this is a good one. I may have a million favorite songs, but I would say like my top five of all time have to consist of Vienna by Billy Joel, Drops of Jupiter by Train, Lover by Taylor Swift, Paradise by Coldplay, and anything else Taylor Swift. What made me want to be an advocate for body positivity? <laughs> wow. So I have this thing called a body, and I also have things with my body like a stomach and I have like all this stuff and I have a stummy and I have rolls and I just have this body and I just realized that people out there in the world were saying I couldn't have this. I couldn't have rolls. I couldn't have big muscular thighs. I couldn't have hairy arms and I just sort of decided that that was stupid and that I want to have the body that I have and I want to love my body and I don't want to spend every day of my life trying to change the body I have. So if that means I got to grab onto these bad boys and say I love you, thanks for being a part of my body and allowing me to live, that's what I'm going to do. Next question, do I have a daily workout plan post volleyball and do I do yoga? Actually, I've tried to do some yoga sculpts. Um, shout out Aubrey, uh, BFF was a yoga instructor. Hey! Hello! Wait, I, wait, I'm filming a YouTube video and I just talked about you being a core power instructor. Say hi! Hey! My daily workout plan does not exist. I work out at the most two times a week. At the most. And that's not a lot and I want to be working out way more than that but I will say if you're working out you should work out because it makes you feel good and you love exercise and you love having your heart rate up and you love sweating and you love the feeling of moving your body not because you want to change your body to look differently so just work out because you love to move the next question is did you take medication for your anxieties yes I did I took antidepressant anti-anxiety medication throughout my sophomore and junior year of college. I'm not gonna say which one, just because I don't want you guys to go try to get the one I got because all of them are different for everyone and I know there's like a brutal trial and error process of finding like which one works for you. But yes, I was on it. It was really hard for me to do that because I'm someone that like, I don't even like Advil. So I, I'm like, I like to feel. I don't wanna like numb anything. And so taking a medication was really hard for me to digest, literally and figuratively. Um, but I realized that it was important to keep me at a place where I could function and be a student athlete So I, I did and then my junior year when I took my mental health leave I weaned off my medicine with the help of a doctor and My senior year I played and I did school with no medication at all Yeah, so that's my med story the second to last question is what is my favorite quote at the moment? My favorite quote at the moment is maximize your opportunity while you got it the last question we'll end with is when are you starting real pod again i miss it Ugh, i'm so happy to hear that you miss the podcast that means the world to me i'm actually very excited because real pod will be coming back on january 22nd the cover art actually was redesigned i rebranded the whole thing i worked with this really awesome designer named Paige cast you should check out her instagram she's the bomb and this is the cover <gasps> Just kidding, I'm not gonna show you yet because no one gets to see it until Wednesday. But I'm really excited. So make sure you are following the RealPod Instagram so that you can see that when it comes out as well. Well, that is the end of the Q&A. I hope that you guys had a good time. I did too. Did you have a good time, little tune? She's so cuddly. She has to be on my lap at all times. Like, she won't just lay on the floor in my bed. She has to be on my lap. And usually that's like what I always wanted in a dog. I was like, oh, I want a dog that will cuddle with me and want to lay with me all the time. And then you finally get one. And it's, it's kind of annoying. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you subscribe to my channel. We are so close to 100K. I'm having new videos every single Monday. So I'm going to be consistent for you. And I am just so excited and I can't wait. And thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of this channel and making me feel confident about posting videos and seriously I'm I'm so grateful. Uh I'm getting emotional. But anyways, okay. Subscribe. See you Monday.